It, it is, you know, in a lot of ways, the classic kind of Dracula story, but I really kind of think that they've lifted it out of this horror genre and have kind of transported it into a fantasy film. And when I look at um, a lot of the different kind of storylines and subplots and characters, it has so, so many strong fantasy elements. It's an origin story, so it's, it's based around the legend um, Dracula that kind of was born from the actual Vlad, the Impaler uh, historical person. And so um, there, there is definitely those elements for sure. Much of, of her story in the film is, is centered around the love story between her and Vlad, and then also just the, the story of love and family with her, Vlad, and Ingris. And so I, um, I spent a lot of time in rehearsals with Luke trying to define, I guess, a real love story and a real relationship, um, not one that was kind of boxed in just like a classic love story. We wanted it to seem real and accessible um, to a modern audience watching this film. So, you know, when we have this scene where we're in um, the castle, Castle Dracula, and we're putting Ingress to bed at night, and it's just chaos, and he's running around and playing with the dragon, and we're trying to get him into bed, and we're kind of having these fa real family moments. I think that even though it's a historical film or a fantasy film, you watch these kind of scenes between the family and the scenes between Vlad and Morena, and, uh, and they seem very real and contemporary in a lot of ways. And so yeah, we, we did because, you know, I guess Vlad the Impaler, the actual historical figure, had a, a very, very intense childhood and, and adolescence and upbringing, and there was a lot of violence and death and, um, and violence <laughs> in his life. And so, you know, we did, we spent some time talking about, okay, so where has this man come from and how has he evolved beyond that? And, you know, how much has he shared with his wife about, about his past? And, and so we kind of talked about those things like, you know, they probably would have divulged everything to each other. They have a very honest relationship and, and I think that's lovely because I think that helps to show different sides of Vlad as well. Because so he's not just this stone wall warrior. He, I think, with his family, he's able to become more of a human, really, more of a um, compassionate human. And so we kind of started that that in that place. So we had somewhere to kind of go. And that's why I think when Vlad is hiding. Um, his secret from Morena, I think it's so powerful and painful because it seems to be the only secret that they have between the two of them. And then, of course, when she finds out, it, it becomes more about keeping their family together at all costs. And, and I think that those provide very high stakes to motivate each character throughout the film. So this version is such a, an epic version with and there's so many elements there's the love story there's the father there's the warrior there's like it's like such a multifaceted character that I, I just didn't really know who could kind of fill those shoes and when I started working with Luke it was like he was born to play this role he even has fangs like he even has fangs on in his teeth like it's amazing he actually has fangs so he is physically perfect for the part um no he's just he's such a he's such a brilliant actor I really I really enjoy working with him he's so um, he's so humble and lovely and hardworking and I find it so inspiring to be around him